Here we are making another React video. New application this time. We're going to talk about something which, if you look in the React documentation, uh, they call containment. So this is what we're talking about right here. And it's using props.children. So what this allows you to do is create components that can contain other components and don't know about it when they're first created. We've seen child components where you can take a component and just stick it in another component just by importing the value um, and then using it. This is different. This allows you to put components in other components without them ever even knowing about it. So let's build something to show the idea. So let's say I want to create a component here and I'm going to call it a sidebar. And uh, for me to put a sidebar, I'm going to need to, actually I'll leave that right there. I want to put a sidebar over here on the left of this and we'll deal with the styling on how to do that here in a second. So let's first start with the component, sidebar.js. So we'll have our one required function here, and uh, we'll call it, we'll put in here and create this uh, h3, we'll say this is sidebar, so when we put this in the page we can see it, export default sidebar. Now in here, put it like so. We need to import it, otherwise we're not going to be able to get it. All right, there it is. Now uh, let's go ahead and do some styling. Let's open up the app.js or excuse me, app CSS. The app intro. Let's see how see where that is. There it is. I don't think I put a class on my sidebar, so let's do it. Alright, I guess we need to put some styling. All right, so there they are. I need these to be side by side. I could do it a number of different ways, I guess. Uh, let's just do floats since these, um, actually, let's do flexbox. Forget floats. To do flexbox, I'm gonna put these in a container so that I can set display flex on this container. So I will give it a class name of content container. So I can go style up this thing. Display flex. Give this a width of 50%. Give this a width of 50%. And that essentially gets it. Cool. Um, let's bring down this sidebar to 40, move this to 60. Because usually sidebars are a little bit smaller. Maybe we could make it even smaller, but it, you know, it frankly doesn't matter. This is about React. So let's go to the sidebar. Uh, it is the nature of a sidebar that, or at least a common thing about sidebars, that uh, they will be generic and they might have different content in them depending on the situation. And so that's what we're going to do here. We want to be able to have this sidebar and potentially use it in multiple different places in an application and then change the content depending on uh, what page, virtual, otherwise it happens to be in. 
So how would we do that? Well, one thing we can do is this. Specifically, this dot crops dot children. So what this prop, dot props dot children allows us to do is it allows us to turn this from self-closing to not self-closing and put content inside. And so this right here should now show up. There it is, like so. What this is, is this gets put into a prop for sidebar called children. So now we have two paragraphs in here. Both of these are put into this thing called children, which I can then put anywhere in here. And uh, where this shows up will depend on where you where you want it. You can put this anywhere. Here, it doesn't make much sense to put that above sidebar, but that's just to show you that you can put that anywhere. Now, in reality, I don't use this very often. Uh, there's going to be some special situations where this is super duper important. Like, for example, I can't imagine how you could do um, React Router and some of what it does without using this this bit of functionality in React. And so this will definitely be something used by some of the things that we're going to use because we're going to be talking about React Router very soon. Uh, but just in case you need it, just in case you need the ability to create a component that can have generic children, and those will get defined when the component is used, uh, but not inside the component itself, that's what this dot props.children are for. If you would like more information, go to the React documentation under Composition versus Inheritance and read this section on containment. And that's it, folks.